So hello guys, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make your fondant soft, easy, and relaxed, elast that's elastic, you know. And I'll be teaching you how to make it with dash dry mixer. This is like the easiest way to make your fondant <coughs> and it's less stressful. So, um, without further much ado, let's head straight into the video. So, uh, welcome back, guys. I'm sorry that you cannot see my face. I don't know, I'm not sorry. It's not, you're, you're not just looking at my face. You have to look at what I have to teach you. So, you have to pay attention and listen to what I have to teach you. So, starting off, um, you will be needing, okay, for this, you need, um, I think basically, you just need teaspoons. You just need a teaspoon for this basically and I'll be looking at my recipe okay and tablespoon you need teaspoons and teaspoon and tablespoon then one over three cup one over three cup that's one third of a cup so firstly you would be um, pouring one over three cup of water inside a bowl Sorry, it, yeah, boom, the book can do. You, you are wondering why, why, why I'm pouring three cups? Because I have three kg of icing, icing sugar to, to be done. Then, keep that aside. You move ahead to one tablespoon. This, this is a tablespoon, guys, of gelatine. So I'm using three tablespoons of gelatine. Sorry, CMC. CMC, sorry. Gelatine. Three tablespoons of gelatin because I'm doing times three. Let's give that a little bit of shake. Stir it around and let's try and spread it around. Then you stir. I like to dissolve. Just keep on stirring till it dissolves. This is like one of the other parts. You don't like water to spill. Once it dissolves, so um, why why I'm still I will be telling you guys how I'm going to be doing this today. So basically, um, I'll be using my big mixer. It's quite easier using mixer to um, do fondant, you know, because then this that shit is stressful. Needed for that is stressful, but then mixer will just help you combine and do most of the heavy lifting. And uh, as you can see, it is well mixed up. Just mix it, mix it well, so you see no lumps. See, there are no lumps in your mixture. So right about now, I'll be um, going to bring my glucose um, if glucose is left for for in room temperature it's, it's hardened but if you want it to be softer just microwave it or put it over a boiling water it's gonna be softened instantly so one minute guys so here is my glucose Ooh. so I'll be adding one over three cups of glucose to this mixture while I stir it so I'll just um, Make sure my cup is full enough. One. Two. Three. So I'll be using the cup to stir it so that the excess glucose on the on the on the that will stick to the cup will fall out so I'm just um, rinsing the cup in the mixture without allowing it to touch my hand basically so basically I will be um, moving over to my kitchen side because the industrial mixture is quite heavy to bring to move around so and i'm using my phone to record in case the fuck shit maybe i just i don't know i don't know 
I'm in Nigeria, so you have to bear with me. But I know this video is still clear enough, but if it's not clear enough, I'm not gonna increase this at the exposure. But then we have to continue. We have to continue. Then I'm just gonna be um mixing this properly. I don't know. Just mix this properly. And you allow it to sit for some time. Just mix this properly and allow it to sit. This is probably combined. So I'll allow like this to sit and we'll move on to the next stage. So I don't know if you're hearing. That's the sound of my journey. So uh, moving on to the next part, stirring this very well. I'm just going to be putting um, one icy sugar with all the required um, CMC. By the way, CMC is a hardening agent though. So why am I just putting one icy sugar with all the required CMC? I want to be putting in, I will be putting in the rest why I am um, why I am mixing it in the big mixer. So when to CMC, I will be putting six tablespoons of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tablespoons of this. So um yeah basically so I'll just open this two down and the next part of this video is gonna be crappy audio and maybe crappy sound because I'll be using my iPhone to record. It's not gonna be crappy audio. I'll have that. Like. So um I'll be moving over to my mixer and we'll start the mixing over there. So um coming to my mixer, I'll just be fixing this. Yes, bringing it up and owning it. So as that is going on, I'll just tear this a bit. I'll just tear this a bit and um, just bring the, bring the light down here. So I'll just tear this a bit and pull. Just pour everything. Scrape what you have to scrape. Then I'll be adding the extra icing sugar. It wouldn't stick to. I'm going to get my wooden stick. You just need to scrape down your edges. So everything will just touch. You can see it's mixing already. My eyes are easy. So you add your second, your last. Bag. Yeah, I like to mix properly. Just give it time to mix. Everything goes down. Once you see that it has it starts to it starts combining very well. So at this point you up it and you check 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 the, the, the consistency. 
Oh, this is nice and good. Uh, at this point, you up it and you take it to your table. So, I'm uh, bringing a mixture back. You will just. First things first, you add some corn flour to your table to avoid it from sticking. Rub the corn flour in your hand. Make sure your hands are clean. Then you just scrape. You pour it down. So this is like just the final part. Just I'm just trying to scrape excesses from So this aside, you start to need nice and soft fondant. Don't use like just like you have to just do this part manually. You don't like the hard part of combining. So the best part, the best way to do this is to do it in batches. To do it in batches. This in batches is to be way easier and way quicker than trying to do everything at once. Only the pros, like cake by Daniel or Sweet Mouth or Abu Bakery or Peace Passion, I can do everything at once. I'm not there yet. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I mean, you guys know I, I learned baking from Swamp from Swamp of NG. And he learned baking from Daniel. And Daniel is the best friend to Sophie Cake at. Who recently got married last year. Well, last year recently. I don't know if last year is recently, but she did got, she did got married last year. So, long time love of her life. So, this. That, set that aside, do the other parts. Yes, combine. It was hard. I'm dripping. I'm dripping like I'm sweating. <laughs> so um, the last stage now I'm gonna see I'm gonna show you how to study properly so they can they can last longer for you. So yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. So coming back, the key is to put them in ziplock bags. Ziplock bags! Ziplock bags! Ziplock bags! So I just divide it into, into like two ziplock bags. Don't make it too full so you can properly seal them.
And after you put them, after you put them to the into, into the Ziploc bags, you can you bring one of your empty bucket butter buckets. It's empty, you see. And you just put them inside. I don't think this is the cover. This is the cover. Okay. Then allow allow them to sit for that can last as long as 14 days inside the ziplock bag and it will still be good to use. So um yeah, I think this, this is the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please do want to subscribe, like, leave a comment, share to your friends, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.